Hi everyone. Welcome to our analysis on Model Ballistically Competitive Firms, which is Chapter 13. For this week, we're going to look at a different market structure that's not as efficient as perfectly competitive firms. Perfectly competitive firms are the most efficient market structure. And when we look at perfectly competitive firms, you notice that they were classified as a price taker, where monopolistically competitive firms are not able to select the market price. Monopolistically competitive firms will, stat, will, be, will be characterized with many firms. They'll be selling slightly differentiated products. And when products are slightly differentiated, this will allow these firms to be able to bring more to the market. And they have to do this through the role of advertising and marketing. And when we look at advertising and marketing, you'll notice that this is a way to differentiate the products that are being sold. Starbucks, is, Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts are a good example of a monopolistically competitive market. This is a market structure where they're selling very differentiated products. They're similar because they're selling coffee, but they're slightly differentiated. And when they're slightly differentiated, this will create a lot of opportunities in the markets. And the reason why it will create opportunities is the prices will be different. And how do we notice the prices will be different? If you look at the demand curve here, you'll notice it's downward sloping between the price and how much is being bought. When you look at a perfectly competitive market, it was a horizontal demand curve, which meant all the units that are being sold are going to be at the same price level. But when we look at a monopolistically competitive market, you'll notice it's a downward sloping curve between price and quantity. When we look at these markets, You'll notice that to, for them to sell an additional unit, they have to lower their price. And for them to get firms to want, to, or individuals to want to buy more, you have to change the market price and have to differentiate it. Because firms will not want to supply more in the market because of this lack of differentiation in perfectly competitive firms. So for this market structure, they are concerned about that. And the key thing that we want to look at is when we look at this graph right here, you'll notice that the demand curve and marginal revenue curve do not equal each other as it does in other markets, or as it does in perfectly competitive firms. So for the firm to sell an additional unit, they have to lower the price, and that's the key area that we need to focus on. So for this week, make sure your focus is on the market structure and how we align to the market structure and how advertising market marketing is key to this market structure. If you need additional resources, please let me know, but I look forward to your effort this week.